Hey there, welcome to my channel. Today I want to redesign an area in my landscape that is boring. That area is my back patio. It's beautiful. We have a great functionality, meaning we can use it for many different reasons. So we have a fire pit, have places to eat. We have a hot tub that we utilize all the time. The problem is to me, it seems very boring. There is an absence of color, uniformity, and it just doesn't seem cohesive. So let's talk about this the way I would look at it if this were a client's home and I was a landscape designer. All right, so I'm going to break it into different rooms. As I said, it's a very functional space. The first room would be our fire pit. This is the area that we could sit around, have conversations. It's the view to the back porch. We have a nice stone wall that we can sit on. Um, and, you know, this is just a fun area. Ideally, I would love to change out the furniture. I don't feel like this goes, however, I want to spend my money on something else, not buy new furniture right now. So what can I do if I don't want to spend money on new patio furniture? Well, I can add pops of color. I can add plants. I can add, if I wanted to, decorations of some sort. So I'm thinking maybe small wrought iron table on either end, you know, here and back there and a planter. That would be a simple fix. The other option, if I'm looking big picture, is there is a big empty space along the edge of this patio. I could add big planters, four of them, one going right to the edge of that bed, two, three, four, maybe just three. Adding planters, that's, it. that's a good option. Then, if I don't want to change out the furniture, I could just give it a nice fresh coat of paint. So, these wrought iron chairs have seen better days. However, I don't want to spend that money, as I said. So, I can freshen them up with a new fresh coat of paint. That always adds life. Okay, so we're looking at it as if this were a room. Then this is going to be a room. So, this is our eating area. Cleaning up the table would be a first start. The um, pollen right now is at an all-time high. So, doing this this weekend would be probably pointless because it's still so, this is literally pollen. Literally like that thick of pollen. So something that I could do is get a planter that goes around the, um, the umbrella stand and plant inside that. I could open the umbrella and just make this look a little more lived in. Something that I don't like is this big open space. So I could take this table and move it this way a little bit and then maybe get like a plant rack or something to go back here. All right. And then keep in mind if we had planters here, 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 and there. So we've got our pots here and some color. If we wanted some yard ornaments or whatever, we could go there. Our planters here doing a little minimal something on the table. There's always lights that go under umbrellas. I don't really want those, but that's an idea. Moving it this way a little bit. Then I have this um, sliding glass door. Doing nice planters on either side with something nice growing out of them. That is a fantastic option. These are all breaking up the boring, the plain, the sterile look of what I feel like this patio looks like. I have this gorgeous patio, the paver patio. It is my favorite. I love it. Um, so then I have my back porch. I love the look of this. I love how it almost feels mountainous. When you are in the hot tub, let me show you the view. This view is incredible. At night, you can see the stars during the day. It's just, it's, it's nice, it's covered, and it's beautiful. We have this space. This is an area that I could plant, put a big planter here and have a vine that climbs this, which is what I would like to do with the hyacinth bean. I want to plant them there, there, and then on the back here. All right, so adding a new cover, which is what we want to order, and adding some paver steps here. 
I want to put a fresh coat of paint on the hot tub. This is all part of the vibe outside, which, you know, we use the hot tub almost every day, sometimes two and three times a day, um, especially on the weekends. So I could put some nice seating areas. Um, and like I said, a planter here on either side of the door. Then this brings you to the focal point of the whole patio. This is the plant catch-all. Um, the plants that I don't have a space for that do really well in the shaded or dappled sunlight area, they go here. So I would really like to play on the fact that I have a shade heavy bed and really plant this up with color. Whatever colors I put in my planters, I would think that would be a great place. We eventually talked about putting a water feature here. And for right now, I don't think we're going to do that. Um, it would be a big undertaking not for right now. So working with what we have, because sometimes, you know, as you go, as I go and meet with people or they don't always have a budget or they have certain areas that they rather focus on. And for me, I would rather just add color instead of renovating everything, if that makes sense. So what do you think? Do you like my ideas? Do you have any ideas, especially for this big open space? I will tell you I have had Adirondack chairs out here with a table in between and I felt like it was just too many different sections. Nothing flowed. So we had our hot tub over there. That's kind of its own space. That's its own room. Can't really do much with that other than I want to make it tropical and enhance it. Okay. This area, planters on either side. Something here. You've got your table and chairs you've got your fire pit. So when we had chairs, 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 it just didn't flow. So that's how I want to look at this. I want to look at it as if I have a blank canvas, which I do, and I can add colors. How can I add colors? And then the last area I want to show you is the rose, the roses. So I really like the knockout roses. I think they're very pretty. And so I'm going to keep these, but I think adding some color to come along here would be really pretty. So really and truly just playing on adding bits and pieces of color and a lot of green. Well, that about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I go about looking at a area and renovating it, breaking it into small rooms, breaking it into small sections. It's like, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, right? I hate that saying, but it's true, right? So we, if, if I break it down into smaller sections, you know, a lot of times it puts that emphasis on the area that I'm looking at. So that's what I'm going to do. And I plan on bringing you along with me as I, as I start renovating this. The first up is going to be my hot tub steps. So I hope you will follow along with that video and the future videos. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Go out and get your hands dirty. Take care. Bye.